This is Michael Wilson. We're looking at the question, what did Jesus mean when he said, I am? The scene is this. Jesus, in response to religious leaders and the elites of his day, questioned him, asking, who do you think you are, they said? Your father Abraham rejoiced at the thought of seeing my day. He saw it and was glad. And yet not 50 years old, the Jews said to him, you have seen Abraham? Jesus answered them and says, I tell you the truth. This is his clue, listen up. Before Abraham was born, I am. And at this, the religious leads picked up stones to stone him. But Jesus hid himself, slipping away from the temple guards. The violent response of the Jews to Jesus' I am statement indicates they clearly understood what he was declaring, that he is the God eternal incarnate. John says at the start of his good news book, in the beginning was the word. Jesus has always existed with God God has declared himself to be the great I am. And that's the title he gave himself in Exodus 3.14. So Jesus is bold and courageous. Jesus declares himself to exist just as God exists. Jesus is the son of God. Jesus knows this will get him killed. Jesus tells the truth because Jesus is the truth. If Jesus had merely wanted to say he existed before Abraham's time, he would have said, before Abraham, I was. So the Greek words translated was in the case of Abraham and am in the case of Jesus are quite different. And the Jewish people got this. The words chosen by the Spirit make it clear that Abraham was brought into being, but Jesus existed eternally. There is no doubt that the Jews understood what he was saying because they took up stones to kill him because he made himself equal with God. Such a statement, if not true, was blasphemy, and the punishment prescribed by the Mosaic law was death. But Jesus committed no blasphemy. He was, and he is God, the second person of the Godhood, equal to the Father in every way. And my friends and brothers and sisters, that is some good news.